conducted via remote participation. So we're gonna do a roll call to make sure everyone um, video in audio is working properly. I'm Meg Rosa here. Did you say we're being recorded? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yusuf Fadel. Sarah Marshall. Rebecca Demling. Stephanie Jackson. Carolyn Mailer. Great. Barb Dills. Righty. Um, yes, so the meeting's being recorded to the web and can be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. And then we're going to call our meeting to order at 6.05 p.m. All righty. All right, so we can start with, uh, let's see here, public comment. Uh, I see we have no attendees, so we'll go ahead and move forward with the agenda, if that's all right with you, Meg. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so the next one. Um, oh, wait, we're ahead of ourselves. I'm sorry, I forgot to approve the minutes. Yes. All right. Yeah, so I was just bringing up the agenda to my screen. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of screens open on my other monitor okay. here. Um, yeah, so there are there any questions, comments, concern about the minutes? from our last meeting? I have two little comp, Oop, Barb. Well, I'll start off with, uh, first of all, under strategic plan, I have the date incorrect. That should have been on the second bullet, should have been October 28th, not November 18th. That's this meeting. This was the meeting of the uh, strategic planning subcommittee. I don't even see what you're looking at. This is October 14th. 14th, 14th under strategic plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay. I just have that date wrong. I put the date of this meeting in instead of October 28th when we was met. Was that Wednesday? That was a Wednesday, yes. So we can, I'll change that. All right, sorry. That's all I have, Sarah. Yeah, under golf course. So on page two, I guess. Mm -hmm. Third bullet. No, sorry. Second bullet. There are only two. The third sentence says revenue should be revenue uh -huh. compar comparison for the first quarter. And then you say FY 18 to 21, but you only show FY 19 to 21. That should be 19. Correct. Okay. And then only one other this is spelling correction under special events, Halloween carnival. Is that, oh, third page. The next oh. page. Um, the third bullet, I am working with Rob, it's Mora, M-O-R-R-A. Yep, that's correct. Uh-huh. And that's all. all. Right. Okay. All righty. Anything else? motion to approve minutes as amended you saw second <laughs> or if well yep. all in favor <laughs> i i've been i've been told at another meeting that we have everything has to be a roll call vote is that what other oh. people want to it's up to you um molly to make she's the chair okay you guys want to do roll call know. votes for everything <laughs> So should we do a roll call vote or just say unanimous? Does anybody not agree? <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> I think, you know, it, is, it has been our practice in the past. Doesn't mean that we can't change it, but our practice has been what we've done, which we just did. Um, I could see if their roll call vote was on something, you know, major consequence, which is coming up, and I, maybe yeah. we should have a roll call vote on that. Okay. Um, for minutes, yeah. I, I'm not sure we need to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, no public comment. Who was the second? 
Uh, well, Yusuf raised his hand. I don't think it was a second, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what I saw. <laughs> Yusuf, are you happy second? second. Yep. All right. Okay. I, may jump, I might jump off and jump back on on my iPad so I can see better. But. Okay. All right. Now we go to public comment, of which I can report there still are no attendees. So we have no public comment at this time. Uh, next item. BPA proposals. So um, I can give a quick report and then maybe Sarah can help me understand. I, I received something today, uh, Sarah, from Sonia. And um, did you get a chance to see that? And I just had some questions whether that was a ranking that that came through or I'm not really sure. Um. Uh, I guess I'm, I didn't know she sent it out so widely. She was just, it, it, it's our practice to take just kind of a straw poll about our level of interest or enthusiasm. And you may have seen those numbers for different, it's not a, it's not a vote. It just helps us prioritize I see. our time and where to start and what might be the difficult, um, topics and what may be easy. I see. Okay. Um, so that, so that part wasn't, she was just updating basically the rest of that spreadsheet. Uh, okay. okay. So it was nothing to do with any vote yet or any scoring. It was uh, um, just suggestions for how we, if we, if how we could actually fund proposals, borrowing versus this and in what fiscal year and stuff. Stuff like that. So I so, don't think there is any issue for this commission. Okay. Right so just to review with everyone the three projects that fell under recreation, and then there turn that turns out there also is a fourth um, that we've talked about before was the Groff Park Pavilion proposal proposal, which I presented to CPAC on October 29th. And then a, the War Memorial Pool House design, so money for that design of that pool house. And then the sand blast, blasting and painting, or I should say ceiling, it's a different, it's not painting, um, of Mill River Pool. Uh, in addition to that, um, I was approached, and it was after our meeting, so they were uh, unfortunately. Um, too late to get um, a recommendation, a current recommendation for us, but it was uh, for the proposal for the North Common, which I know we've talked about in last year and in years for, for some time. And it seems to have had in their past the support of the commission. Um, I actually th thought perhaps there might be someone from the planning um, department who might come into the meeting, uh, but I know, I guess not. So, um, they, they, but they're they are asking, I believe, for a total of five hundred thousand dollars. Is that yes. correct, Sarah? And so two hundred and fifty thousand dollars would of that would come under the recreation uh, part of CPAC. Right. So if you and Sarah is better at this, if she could uh, kind of remind us. So there's historical. Go ahead. The the, oh, the different areas. How it would be? How it's how being. The application this year um, splits the 500,000 between historic preservation and um, recreation. Right. It, so, it's, I mean, there have been previous applications, you know, going back to town meeting and there are, there are already some funds accumulated, but um, the, uh, the, the budget is, has grown since the uh, design work was done. Um, so if, and, and I guess if you want to learn about that, you can look for the CPA meeting on the YouTube channel, Town's YouTube channel from two, two weeks ago at this point, I think. But Town Council also took it up uh, just to, not to make any kind of decision, but just to get an update at their meeting just this past Monday. And if you want to go to Amherst Media and click on the town council meeting from the 16th, I watched this yesterday. I think it started at hour two. 
<laughs> out of four and a half hours, but wow. hour two, and it was maybe 40 minutes long. You can see what's being proposed and kind of what the, what the larger picture is, the past, the, the history of this work so far and um, where the town hopes to take it. And so, but Barb, if there's no more, yeah. if no one has any question about the North, and I guess you want to vote on it. I have to say, we never got a proposal for the War Memorial Pool House. I know we talked, we didn't. It's so I don't know what happened to that because I, yeah, no, that talked, been, I remember we talked about it. I remember we talked about it. So yeah. uh, no, that, you know, that's interesting. we got the pavilion, the Groff Park Pavilion. We got the Mill River Pool, and we got the North Common. Well, that's news to me. Um, hmm. I will follow up on that. Maybe, I mean, perhaps uh, with the addition of the North Common, they just, you know, they made a decision not to uh, pursue that. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder, I'll check it, on it. There are a lot, there are a lot of requests this year. So yeah, uh, yeah or, may, or maybe it just got left on the, yeah, that's, on somebody's that's not, desk. So. Uh, yeah, it, no, I, that's not like, I mean, I'd be surprised if that happened. Yeah. It would have been uh, probably the planning department. I'm not sure, but that's like, let me uh, follow up and I'll get back to you with that okay. uh, an answer about that. Right? It, so any doing? other questions on that from the commission? The total, what would this bring the total to for North Common? But attributed to, oof. To, to the money that? that we already have set aside for it. Oh, I'd have to look. Uh, yeah, I don't. Be, I don't remember it off the top a, of my head. Little, it'd be about a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. I and not all from CPA by any means, but they there may be an, an additional ask, <laughs> you know, next year. But town council may, you know, who knows? Who knows? So well, there's also okay. So there was money for the, uh, allocated for the for the parking lot. Right. That was. You know, so I think that was 400 and something. I think and then so. I believe there was the uh, park grant, I believe. Oh, no, God. that failed. They're at, that they're going to apply again. Okay. No, so there was, was it 500? Maybe, maybe two other CPA rounds. Yeah. So we'd well, have to research yeah. it. I don't want to speak yeah. out you know, in case yeah. I'm pretty incorrect. But I think you're right. We're at somewhere around a million dollars. Yeah, Rebecca. Just for the, um, since we have members who were not on the committee at the time it was last reviewed, would it be possible to like, for someone, I'm totally fine, but just give a brief update of where North Common is and what they were thinking of doing. Just if we're going to vote on it or talk about it, I feel like we should all be working from the same set of facts. Good point. I might even be able to, if you wanted to let me share my screen, if I can't already do that, I might be able to find um, a drawing submitted, or I can. I can just describe it. <laughs> if you can't get to it, fine. You can. Yeah, you're you're most familiar because you've had the latest. All right. Well, the north, the north Common is that section of the Common directly in front of Town Hall. So it's part part of it's a parking lot that is next to Main Street and then the, you know up to the corner of Main and South Pleasant. And then there's a very eroded uh, part with trees, the Merry Maple, which is held together by Christmas lights. And, um, <laughs> and uh, accurate. you know, it, this, it, so it's very, very run down. So it's between the Spring Street cut through that has where the farmer's market used to be, mm -hmm. hopefully will be again, and Main Street, okay? Um, the grade is so steep, it's like a, I may not have this right, but something like a 16 foot drop from the South Pleasant Main Street corner down to the Boltwood Spring Street corner. So, um, <coughs> Since it doesn't really have much grass at this point, there is an awful lot of runoff. It's hard to manage, and it's scouring the 
um, <clears throat> scouring the ground and trees are not healthy and it's, it's just kind of a sad situation. On the other hand, since the pandemic, a lot of tables, picnic tables have been put out there and people are loving that. So there's clearly, <laughs> clearly it could be uh, much better used if it could be redesigned and rebuilt and to offer some more amenities, like places to sit and, and eat your burrito or drink your coffee or whatever. So this doesn't include, I know there's the parking lot, then the Mary Maple area, then another parking lot, and then a bigger grassy area. That does not include the big grassy it does, area. It does not include the big grassy area or the Spring Street, Street parking. Okay, just that. The one, just okay, that, just okay. that first smaller chunk that's okay. bounded by Main Street, South Pleasant, Spring Street, and Bullwood. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And just to refresh my own memory, the design was going to be done um, with community input at a later point, and this is just the funding for the process to start. Well, um, before I was involved in any of this evidently there was a public there have been public oh, meetings and like processes the three and then years we're ago. government yes that's right and so <laughs> yeah the public so has been, been involved the public's like, probably wondering what happened right to that <laughs> and so the design was presented to mm -hmm. the select board like at their last meeting their final meeting and they said Thank you. We're not going to decide on anything, you know. So, they've left thank it you for, for refreshing my memory on that. I'm like, there was going to be this robust public process. Well, we there certainly will be. There was, yeah. there was, and there will be again, definitely. Yeah, I think. But the, they're uh, just they they want to. They don't want to do whatever whatever it turns out to be they don't want to do it in phases they want to do it all at once in the summer while students are gone it's cheaper and less disruptive to that whole part of downtown so they're mm -hmm. trying to i believe they're trying to get the funding all lined up <laughs> thank you sarah that was sure. very helpful okay yes yeah and i would say just to reiterate there was quite a bit of public input and there were there were meetings and, you know, I may can attest to that. And, and there was a committee um, and it, I believe if I'm, my memory serves me right. We kind of, uh, the, the, the last, where we left it at the end and it seemed that at least the, um, the input that we received from most people was that they liked sort of the middle ground where uh, the parking wasn't totally eliminated. There were still, there was still, I think a loss of eight or 12 parking spots. I'm not, I'm not, I don't recall off the top of my head, it was 12, um, but it, it wasn't totally eliminated and it wasn't made, on the other hand, it wasn't all parking. So um, it was, it makes a nice, uh, you said entry uh, and it just aesthetically provides kind of a, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but. Um, a, gate, a, a gateway, uh, I would say a gateway. That's, yeah. A to gateway. this public space town in town hall, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it. Hopefully that you know that seems like the town council is interested in getting this project done. So fingers crossed. Yeah, it would be a good thing because I think uh, if you read the article in the paper recently, um, you know it, it is an eyesore right now, and it's it becomes kind of a muddy hole at certain part when it rains. Uh, it's just not keeping with our beautiful town hall and in that area. And it, and it could be, and it's so underutilized right now and could be, you know, much more utilized if it was improved. So it's a good thing. All right, any other questions? Thanks, um, Becky, for bringing that up because it's been a while <laughs> since we, it's sort of like Kendrick Park, you know, these things keep coming back to us. <laughs> All right. Um, so the next order of business, Meg, I'll turn it over to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Didn't you want to oh, vote? Sure. Didn't you want to vote? Or I, am I wrong? Uh, I guess we could. Uh, Meg, I'm so, I thought, sorry, yeah, I, thought. I, I wasn't sure um, where, where that was left. I guess, yeah, I think we probably should do that. Let's, um, I think it would be that we would support the, 
the, the project again, yeah. <laughs> you know, support the project, <laughs> which we've already done, but let's maybe we could do it again and probably would so, do a real call vote on this. Yeah. So should I say like LSSE Commission or Amherst Recreation Commission? Well, we're never made that. So LSSE Commission at this time. All right. We're still, <laughs> still LSSE. <laughs> okay. So how about um, we, the LSSE Commission, support the, con well, continue to support the North Common proposals? For CPA funding. For, okay, for CPA funding. Um, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to go through my list as you're set up on my screen. Um, Becky. Demling, I. Sarah. Sarah Marshall, I, and I'll second the motion. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Stephanie. Stephanie Jackson, I. Carolyn. Carolyn Mailer, I. Yusuf. Yusuf Fidel, I. Meg Rosa, I. All right, appears the vote is unanimous. All right, now we have two more votes. Um, we're moving on to the name change. Um, so the first of these is to recommend to the town manager that we change the name of the department from Amherst Le Leisure Services and Supplemental Education to Amherst Recreation. So we're gonna go through the roll call again. <laughs> uh, Becky. Uh, Rebecca Demling, aye. Sarah. Actually, I'm sorry, is there a second? Second. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah Marshall, aye. Stephanie. Stephanie Jackson, aye. Carolyn. Carolyn Mailer, aye. Yusuf. Yusuf Fidel, aye. Meg Rose, aye. All right. Um, and then our second one is to recommend to the town manager that the LSSC commission be renamed to the Amherst Recreation Commission. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, Becky. <laughs> Uh, Rebecca Demling, aye. Sarah. Sarah Marshall, aye. Stephanie. Stephanie Jackson, aye. Carolyn. Carolyn Mailer, aye. Yusuf. Yusuf Fidel, aye. Meg Rosa, aye. Yay. Yeah, yeah, nice to have Congratulations. that Congratulations. <laughs> Step one accomplished. <laughs> Does one. anyone know, is it Final if the town manager says so, or or we've made it final, or does you town have council have to well now yeah no the town council doesn't it's a you know, as he he is the executive branch of um, our yeah. government town governance or city governance and so uh, we'll make those recommendations and as long as it's in our minutes then um, he will he has said he would approve it Super. all right so moving forward under Amherst Recreation. Uh, I wanted to just give you a brief update. I know Yusef and I have um, talked a bit about this. We've, we've mentioned it before about this Cherry Hill Advisory Committee. So um, it turns out, I just want to give you an update. It's uh, about what's happening here. So what had to happen, because this is would be an official advisory committee, is that um, I needed to draft a committee charge. And um, basically it's the things we've talked about before. Um, let me just read it to you. It hasn't been approved yet. The town manager hasn't approved this, but I have submitted him a draft. Um, and the charge summary would read, uh, the committee will examine and make recommendations related to all aspects of golf course operations, course layout and course management. The committee will also make recommendations for potential uses of the property over the next three years. So it's very straightforward. Um, there would be uh, this proposal of five members on that committee and the appointment would be for one year. So we would have a year to, to basically, you know, we'd look at other courses, we'd look at municipal courses in particular, we'd do some comparisons, um, we'd certainly get input uh, from from different aspects of our community, I you know, listening to what I you know from from different um, golfers and 
and uh, constituents. Uh, we certainly would want to have North Amherst residents or business owners, in, or one of the other or both. Uh, certainly golf course users, uh, golfers and non-users, and perhaps a UMass faculty uh, person who has expertise in um, this in course operations and so forth. So that's sort of the update. Uh, at this point, I'm waiting for the town manager to get back to me and um, then I'll be able to tell you, give you a better status update. Sarah. Uh, to whom does this committee report? It says it will report. The, I'm sorry, to the commission. So you've called it a committee, but is it a subcommittee or a, a whole freestanding, I mean, a subcommittee of Amherst Rec? Uh, well, that's a good question. He had told me it would be a committee charge, but it perhaps, and that's a good question I'll ask him, perhaps it is a subcommittee. So let me uh, clarify that. I'm not sure. Just Yeah, okay. And then my other question is, we know there is a very enthusiastic uh, Nordic skiing community that would love that to be developed. Um, well, that's why we have that non-golfer golf users so okay so it might the okay. property right okay so hopefully we'll definitely have one of those individuals on that committee as well so we're waiting on you know i'd like to get started in january uh you know it just all depends how long this process of getting our committee charge approved takes any other questions on that i'm sorry no go so, ahead um so how it, are any Amherst Rec members delegated to that? Does the town manager appoint people? I mean, how are these, who is be, going to do the yeah. filling of these positions and do any commission members get a seat or? Yes, there will be a commission member on that committee. Uh, Yusuf has agreed to, to do, do that, that but he'll actually, but uh, it appears from what, the uh, town manager has told me though, he will have to approve and appoint uh, people to this committee. So it it'll be now? similar to what um, the process you, you all went through meeting with him for, via Zoom now um, for a short meeting, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. process. And there'll be, you know, they'll have to apply as, as you all did um, through the website, the town website. All right? Well, we just need to find out what, but they don't become yeah. part of this committee. They're gonna become part of the other committee, but they report to this committee. Yes, that's my understanding. So it would seem logical that actually this is a subcommittee. Okay. No other questions, we'll move on. So I did provide you with the director's report. I had provided this earlier to the town manager. So you'll have to um, excuse some of the tenses in this, some of it's already happened. Uh, but just briefly, I can run through this if you have it, um, but some of the highlights. The sports programs are coming to, the, coming to an end, um, all of them, the ones that we ran, extremely successful, all enrolled full capacity, which is great. Uh, we did end up adding another session of the Sugarloaf Mountain Athletic Club track program that, that's been, uh, we've had that around for a while. It's been very popular. So we added that and it ran, it'll actually, it's running through the month of November. So that's great. Um, let's see. Ultimate Frisbee and modified football programs ended in, ended in, I think they're just about done, um, but both of those have been very successful. Uh, we're currently investigating uh, the possibility of running a modified uh, basketball program at Pelham Elementary School. As you, If you're familiar with Pelham Elementary School, that gymnasium is very, very small, uh, but you know, we're we're trying to figure out some sort of program that we can do for kids. Uh, we would be able to have that gym probably five nights a week and on Saturdays uh, it would probably be a skills type of uh, uh, program, much like we did for the football program, which, which ended up the kids loved it. I mean, just that the kids handle the ball, um, see their friends in a 
you know, participate in at some level, uh, I think is a good thing. So we're pursuing that. Of course, a lot of this is COVID dependent on where we are uh, in terms of the virus and uh, any implications, the different phases might that might impact it. So we're cautiously optimistic. Uh, talked about CPA, aquatics. Are, yes, questions can I, on sorry, that. Can I ask a question about sure, that please. Um, possible program in Pelham? Mm -hmm. um, would they charge us? They are. They get that in fee. Do they have a, a recreation department or this is the oh. school gym? This is the school this is gym. Cool. This oh, is the no, school gym, yeah. school gym. Yeah. And yes, there is a charge to be a rental hourly fee. And yes, we would charge for this program much like we charge for other programs um, in the fall, sports programs. So that, that would cover the fees. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, let's see, aquatics. Uh, well, I was hopeful we might be able to get in earlier rather than, than later into the uh, middle school pool. But at this point, um, we're sort of in a holding pattern. Uh, hopefully by spring, we'll be able to run some sort of an aquatics program. So uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, the golf course, any questions on aquatics? Look at, I look at you, Carolyn. <laughs> uh, golf course, uh, play uh, in, in, uh, in October, it, it was, uh, we brought in double the revenue that we had brought in the previous October, October in fiscal year 20. So um, that was good thing. Uh, we closed the course on November 16th. And as I said, we were in the process of trying to get that Cherry Hill Advisory uh, Committee together. And right now, um, as I said, the town manager is reviewing the charter proposal or they, not the charter proposal, uh, the charge proposal. All right, and primetime childcare program. So, wow, this was, as I said, this is, an, I think an incredible service, not only to um, children of staff members of the town, but now community members as well. We have now opened it up to Amherst, uh, residents uh though how we're doing this is the schools have identified children who are really have, are struggling and who need um uh help with their with their remote learning their distance learning so we have now uh at this point we're pretty much close to capacity and we're looking now for a new license to expand the program uh and uh, we're looking at three different classrooms uh, at the middle school on the other end of the building. So uh, this has become quite a, quite a very popular, obviously, program and a, a very much needed one. Uh, so we'll probably, I talked to the licensor from the uh, state today. It takes about three, sometimes even four weeks to go through the approval process to increase your capacity. And then she'll have to come out and do a site visit to approve the space. Um, so we're probably looking um, at the end of December, which doesn't make sense because the kids will be out of school. So it'll probably be the, the first part of January that we would start this program. That is going well no issues so far so we're full speed ahead we do have all of our full most of our full-time staff are working at the program uh and in addition we've hired uh some some of the folks that we've used uh, for our after school program are working that program and and others <clears throat> so questions on that sarah Oh, you're muted, Sarah, sorry. I assume families have to pay for this. Is there a sliding scale or waivers if uh, that's a hard check for anybody? Yeah, currently there is no charge for the program. Oh, okay. Right, so that, oh, yeah, we're hoping that that continues, um, but that- how, how is that funded then? Is that- It's being just... funded through the town. Okay. 
in, in the schools. Schools are helping out. I mean, they'll be busing the program. This is great. The, every child gets free breakfast, free lunch. Are we talking about the childcare thing? Yes. Sorry, my internet all worked up. Oh, all right. no, sorry. <laughs> You're good. Okay, so no, no more questions on the childcare. Becky, did you have a question? You're muted, sorry. Becky? Yeah, sorry. There you go. Um, my question is how many more slots are you looking to expand? Probably 20 more. And, uh, you know, if necessary, and if it's really a question of finding staff also at this point, I mean, it takes a long time for them to be vetted through uh, the background record checks. Uh, and, and, and they also have to take certain coursework through EEC online before they can even start. Uh, so that, you know, it's, it's, it's not like you can snap your fingers and, you know, open up you know, have an orientation like we do at uh, day camp, for instance, which is, you know, an extensive orientation, but this is a little bit more, more to it. So it does take some time. Okay. Uh, so let's see, we, <laughs> special, well, there wasn't really much to, to report on the adult and youth education, obviously our classes are, are you know, not doing, you know, you can't move outdoors when it's this cold. So um, we're probably pretty much on a hiatus until uh, we can figure something out for the spring. There's a possibility we might be able to use the Pelham gymnasium on Sundays, uh, but we're, we're kind of still um, investigating that. Uh, special events, Halloween, uh, the Halloween parade actually was a huge success. We had almost 70 cars take part in it. And, you know, for it's, it's sort of simple, but still just to have the kids, some of the, car, you know, a lot of, not a lot, but, you know, some of the, the parents and the families went all out. They decorated their cars. Most of the kids came in costume in their cars. Uh, the police and fire department were fabulous. Uh, so all in all, I'd say it was a huge success and people loved it. So... You know, maybe we'll hope by next year we'll be back to our, our usual Halloween happenings, but for this year, it was great. Uh, I'm it's working right now with uh, the bid in the chamber. We've had some kind of really uh, a little bit of discussions, but we're, we're hoping to set up a meeting uh, next week to sort of finalize or talk about plans for Winterfest and bringing that committee back together. It'll look much different obviously than last year, but we'd like to do something um, just to help, you know, kind of revitalize downtown and do it in a safe way. So we'll we'll see what that's that's going to look like and I'll be able to report back and we'll have the committee meet and so forth once I meet with, with uh, Claudia and Gabrielle. Uh, outreach, we're still doing outreach, uh, we did an, uh, in October, we did a dinosaur evacuation. Yeah, no, excavation, <laughs> evacuation. <laughs> dinosaur, get out of here. Uh, go. Uh, no, excavation. It's much too late for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a hundred of those distributed. The kids loved them. And they were done at uh, one, two, I think there were two or three different housing areas that we did those at. So that was good. Uh, we talked about the name change already, so that's done. Uh, we didn't receive any uh, submissions for a logo yet. So kind of that that's too bad, although we have, I don't know, there were several, there were a couple people, I believe, on the commission that possibly knew people who might be interested. So if you want to put that bug in their ear, I think at this point, uh, we are doing, you know, we're moving ahead. We have a mini brochure that will be coming out for the winter. And um, we're, so what we thought, we'd, we'd put it in the brochure and hopefully get some submissions that way. It would it'd be another way to publicize that, hey, you know, here's an opportunity to, to um, come up with a logo. Uh, Sarah, I saw your hand first. Have you thought of reaching out to the high school art department? I mean, they do have, beat yeah. you to it, Becky. Um, 
<laughs> they do have art, you know, I, I don't know what all the offerings are, but it'd be a wonderful project for. Yeah, no, it would. Let me uh, remind Marion about that. I, we did, I did send an email to the, uh, the art, or their town art commission or commission, I guess. Public art. Partly public art. Uh, we didn't hear anything back, but um, I did send that to them. But I didn't hear anything. So yeah, I think that's a great idea, Sarah, and I will um, pass that on to Marion. All right. Uh, but Can I add one more thing? Mm -hmm. Can you send me some, there's a lot of student artists who are actually incredibly talented. Could you send me a blurb and I can make yep. sure that gets in the student morning announcements as well as in uh, the PGO newsletter. And I can also send um, the email addresses of the art teachers specifically at the high school okay. or broader reach. Okay, I have an email that I sent to the, the art uh, commission, so I will a uh, public art commission, so I will send that to you, and that Excellent. has everything in it. I'll just leave it. The, the uh, I don't. We haven't really decided as to what we want to do in terms of a deadline on that, but maybe mid January. We've already pretty much we're transitioning. The new brochure will have just pull this up. Uh, you know, it'll be say Amherst Recreation, your guide to or your guide to winter activities or something like that. And it has, I think last year's luminary, it's a really pretty picture. Um, and then I'll have kind of a blurb in there saying, you know, saying like, okay, uh, who we are, um, you know, how we've worked for you th through the pandemic, our strategic vision, our new name, how exciting that is. Um, and then she has this new logo, artwork and artist bio, but that will be actually be, hey, be a part of this change submit and then um, some other things so we're we know we sort of sort of a uh, you know an easy transition but it, it's it's getting there and then we'll we'll put out after the brochure comes out I'm sure we'll have press releases and so forth as well so Barb, yeah. I have a question sure Barb. yeah um, does it make sense to give a sense if we're going to broadcast this looking for a logo this this far and wide, does it make sense to give some guidelines? Um, are we gonna leave it open to anybody and everything? Or are we gonna, is there a way that when you're developing a logo, like if you're working with a designer, you'd say, and Yusef, you'd probably say this better than I would, but would you, we want something that includes this and this, you wanna focus on that, these are the town colors, um, it needs to be simple, whatever. Would that just save us, save everybody a little bit of, effort? Well, we could if, you know, I would say if, if we'd already gotten like 10, <laughs> yeah. or something. but at this point, I've, so I'm kind of like, well, let's, let's just put it out Take there. what we can get. I, okay. I, yeah, yeah. I don't think, you know, with them, what will happen is that, you know, subcommittee will narrow them down to about five. And then we're, we decided that then we put it out to the community to choose, choose the winner. Mm -hmm. So let's say we get 30, which I, I, mean, I think that's over optimistic. Uh, just knowing how this works sometimes it's, you know, it's, well, we'll see, see how it goes. You know, and the other thing is we could, we could say, we could always go back to them, I guess, Carolyn and say, well, you know, you, you made the cut, but we want you now to use these colors or, mm -hmm. you know, this, whatever parameters we want to come up with. Okay. So we want you to refine it now and then we'll go from there. What do you think, Yusuf? Yeah, I agree. I was kind of, I was thinking about guidelines and stuff, but you know, I think let people kind of decide what recreation is, and maybe we'll get some good ideas that way, and then we can sift through it from there. Is is there a size that we want to keep in mind? Because I don't want someone to do like a full page thing with a lot of details. That's just a waste of their time, right? I mean, I would hope be if if they're designing a logo, they would know that logos, you know, can't be intricate for the most part, should be simple, should be, a, you know, we could okay. say one or, you know, I guess we could put in there no more than three, two colors probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but we could also change that, you know, once they, if they, if they came with multicolor, say, hey, this is great, but this needs to be three colors max or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay. 
I, I just be interested to see whatever. <laughs> I like yeah. to see anything. <laughs> Leave it to them. Okay. Yeah. I think the high school is a great idea. Those, yeah, you know, I do too. Probably a lot of participation from them. Mm -hmm. well, I see. think kids are dying for something to do. Creative to do. Know? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. be a wonderful. I mean, I don't know. Is it if it's a maybe if it's a student, you give give fifty dollars. I mean, it, you know, nothing like a little incentive even to. Yeah, Sarah, we had uh, um, decided at the subcommittee meeting that we could provide that person with a golf membership or pool membership. Oh, oh, great idea. Yeah, so okay. when, I'll apply. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the world's worst artist, but I'll, <laughs> we're probably conflicted out, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So is, is there anything else to update you there? No. So we'll wait and see. We'll reopen that. And then once we get this, then that subcommittee will meet again and review those logos. Mm. Website update is in process. We've talked about that before. And I think that pretty much sums it up. Any other questions? I have a couple of things. Yeah. Or, so First, let's talk about the, the advisory committee real quick. Do you get the sense that, I mean, what I'd like to see is I'd like it to be kind of a positive thing to try to figure out what we can do to take Cherry Hill kind of to the next level. But you get the sense that maybe he's gonna try, the town manager might wanna bring people who may not feel as good about Cherry Hill as we do, you know what I mean? Like- No, I don't get no. that sense. All right. No, <laughs> I think- no, I think it's uh, just what we said. I mean, looking, I think we do need to maybe look at how we've been doing operations and it would be good to look at other municipal courses right. in the region to see what they're doing and okay. compare kind of apples to apples, if you will, right. and see what we can do better to bring it to the next level. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I think winter use is important, uh, how we can expand that. Maybe there's some low cost or grant uh, grants that could pay for some type of winterization or heating of Cherry Hill, right. uh, the clubhouse. So yeah, those kind of, that's kind Winter. of around going with this. Right. Well, look how much, sure money, how much money, how much money it made. <laughs> yeah, it did good this year. So right. yeah. this is good. So yeah, we it's don't a good want to time to do this. Kind of yeah, no, <laughs> no. And no. The other thing is, I, I want to mention is, I want to give a shout out to Becky for you know being nominated by the chamber for, as a, but was it a COVID hero for her work with the hotspots and the PGO? So wow, yeah. oh, <laughs> congratulations! Wow, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. We lost to the survival center, but Same honestly, the they deserved it way more than the PDO did, but it was nice to be acknowledged. It was like, not many times you get six different schools all working on the exact same thing together. It was like a, a really big highlight mm -hmm. of the spring was everyone working towards like meeting our most vulnerable kids. So it was, it was awesome to be a part yeah. of. And I don't know who nominated us, but you know, it, know. Was, it was fun to be considered. And if, if you don't know what happened is they did the an yeah. online event this year for the for the awards ceremony and if you got a ticket you got to vote for you know one of the five or six nominees for that award so that was the only award that wasn't figured out yet until that night so it was kind of different you probably would have got more votes too if you figured out how to vote because it was hard to get to that part. <laughs> <laughs> I well, didn't find it till way after they closed the votes myself. So. Oh, wow. It was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> oh, no. No, Sarah. We're not going there. <laughs> no, we're not going there. All right. Uh, any other comments? I have a question. Do we have a tagline we're going to use for the logo? No, but it's something we could certainly add. If I'm just playing can. around in Canva. There's a whole bunch of logo options in mm -hmm. here. Life in motion. 
So that's a whole nother contest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that would be a word cloud where you get everyone to submit it. And then whichever uh, word, whichever phrase is the biggest, you know, yeah, wins. Yeah. that would be an easy one to do universally. So that'd be cool. Becky, we're going to put you in charge of that. <laughs> okay. I, I, that I can do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Meg, anything else? I think we did it all. Oh, we have to schedule a meeting. Yeah. Okay. So we are looking at December now. Um, 9th or 16th. Oh my goodness, December already. 16th sounds good to me. Presently, my schedule is wide open. Yeah, it's funny. We're no one's going. Gee, let me look at all the parties. Let's see. No, <laughs> no. <available that day. laughs> yeah, I can do eight either. Want to make it the sixteenth? That kind of puts it in the same. The month. Yeah. Yeah, a month away. All right. Oh, and it's Thanks. not LSSE committee. Amherst Rec. Amherst Rec. <laughs> Amherst Recreation. Amherst Rec. So that's cool. Well, congratulations on your new name. <laughs> <laughs> you too. I know. I even like the initials, ARC. ARC. Good. That works. Love it. All right, then, if there isn't anything else, Meg, you want to close the meeting and think we're good. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yes, Happy Thanksgiving. Stay, stay safe. Uh, yes, Bye. and stay Bye. safe. Bye now. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.